Well, we're back here at the Hydro 84. And Brad's over there. He's actually got the bad side. This is the good side. I didn't know how quick he was going to be to find the camera stuff. So uh, I started on the good side so we could showcase the bad side. I'm just scraping off some of the poop. That's the joy of a loader tractor on farms of cattle. They see manure. And this side spins nicely. You can kind of hear it's a little dry. I re-greased these last year, year before. I don't know how well that lasted. Now, what I do like about these hubcaps is there's a nice ridge right there. Uh, either I'll break a screwdriver or I'll get the cap out. Yeah, add that one to the list, I think. Yeah, I chipped the end off pretty squarely. Oh, man. I can't wait for it to rain tomorrow. It is so humid today. I don't know. That, mmm. A little bit. I don't. I probably didn't touch that grease. That was probably left in there. Ah, but the grease we have left ugh, smells ugly. It spins. There's grease in there. Okay. Well, this one's still a good stopping point. Let's go to the other side. See what we got. Three quarter inch on the impact. That is the most delightful thing ever. Should have brought the scraper. Get some of the poop off the bolts. Yeah, I wish we, the cows didn't drink so much so they didn't have to pee so much to make the manure sloppy. Now in the winter it's great, it's solid, it's wonderful. But not everything can be awesome all the time. And like the Lego movie says, everything is awesome. Everything is cool. I don't know if it's a good thing these are studs or not. Now oh, come on, there we go. See, a few of these are clean and we didn't get in deep slop. Like, that's deep slop. Right there. Now, a few years ago on this thing, probably been five years, I had to put new thrust bearings at the bottom of the spindle. And I know it probably got all new wheel bearings then. Oh, would you fall out of there? Come on, you're right there. I see you moving. Jeez. And one left at the very bottom. Well, we don't need that now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So the wheel's not loose, but you can see how much play there is. That is horrendous. Come on. The other side popped right off. Really? Come on. That took it back on. That'll make me get a sledgehammer. Oh, fine. Yeah, this side just came right off. Right off. Did not leave the sledgehammer. There it is. Okay. I got that side all popped apart for you. Hey, all I gotta do is do the nut. Uh, so shouldn't be doing that, but we did. Oh, I got a handful of plier options, screwdrivers. Between those two, you should be able to get the nut and the cotter pin. Okay, heavy hitter out of the way. Now, the greatest thing about having a loader tractor and doing wheel bearings, tractor has a built-in jack. We did put a block of wood in for safety just in case the loader starts to sink. Yeah, that's bad. Hopefully the seal surface on the hub is good. If not, 
International put in a wear ring that's replaceable for the seal. And we won't look at the back side of this tire. But we probably will anyways. We gotta clean all that stuff out, all the dried up poop. We'll get to that. Okay. Just back to the story. Yeah, these thrust springs we replaced and we put new bushings. We need to tighten this up. If you can see, there's a little bit of turn at the spindle and our arm here. Just tighten that bolt, should do the trick. And being a loader tractor, the steering is loose as all get out. It pretty much needs all new ball joints across the front and the mount here. But since we're up in the air about keeping it and getting the transmission redone, uh, we're just keeping it functional for now. Unfortunately. Brad, yeah, I think I cracked this screwdriver. How'd you do that? If I did, I did it ever so neatly that you can't tell I did it. But I was prying the cap off of that side. I heard a pop. Mm. This cap is really loose. Ew. Ew. Wow, that is some... The grease is... Looks like there's grit in it. Lots of grease in it. Oh, my side just went down again. Yeah, I know. Okay, um, those cutting pliers, are those over there? I brought them, never mind, I got them. But I didn't get, I didn't get a rag. Brad's messy. Yeah, I guess I make messes too. I don't know. As you am sure you've heard, we've gone round and round about replacing the loader since nobody seems to want to deal with the 84 series hydros. Yeah, there's a big place, I think Kansas, that rebuilds them, but they like the bigger ones. The, see, right here on the sticker. Made in Great Britain. Now, while it might be American design, possibly, still could be British design, it's a different hydro than the bigger tractors. Those bolts are tight. Um, so being made in Great Britain, there could be metric idiosyncrasies to deal with. But I love the Hydrostat. I really do. Anytime I think about a loader on a gear tractor, especially scooping manure and lots of shuttle work, even loading round bales, the thought of not having the Hydro and the ease of speed change and direction change I thought it'd be nice to take this guy out and make some hay this year. But lo and behold, hay usually requires road travel. And there's many times where I wonder if I'm going to have to get out and push. So I'm not doing myself any favor for trying to sell this by telling you guys its issues. It is a great tractor. It'd probably be a great loader tractor. Like the 2250 loader is fantastic, easiest on and off. I just didn't get to show you guys that last time since we found this wheel bearing problem. Well, we're not the green chop. Is the scraper over there? Yeah. Do you want the scraper? I want the scraper. There's grease on it. The cleaner this is, the less chance we have of getting dirt. Now, I had thought about putting grease circs in the caps. Bad idea, because down in the manure. Hopefully this grease circ is still usable. Probably should shoot some grease in it while we're down here. Huh, it's tight, up and down. Man, you can see how much that's been grinding. Hopefully, well, this might have to be a multi-day project if we can't, if that seal wear surface is... Oh, nasty. Ow, man. How are you doing to get that inner bearing off? I'm oh, cleaning up. Farm. Yeah. I'm not that far yet. Um. Well, I'll trade you. 
You're gonna want your tools here. Yeah. Good, I'll throw them over or just take them. Oh, you mean the bigger guy here? Well, that's not something. <laughs> throw me a flathead screwdriver. Uh, there's the seal. There's gunk behind the seal. Yeah, string. Ugh, twine. Wow, well, net wrap would do the same thing. So I can't bash the twine. Whoa, that's a lot of twine down in there. Jeez. And grease. There's the seal. This one's still in there. So what should we get to replace the loader tractor? I, I like the thought of skid steer, but I like the skid steer. But somehow, what I would call a decent skid steer is always so expensive, which I get it. Everybody uses them, and the problem, that's the problem. Because they're used so much in construction, those guys have tons of money to throw at them from building things. Unfortunately, scraping poop isn't always the biggest money maker. I don't know if we can... We got new seals, obviously. That taps on there. Um, can I get a hammer? He got the hammer by the sockets over there. want to destroy the bearing. I mean, we can. We can. It's always an option. Probably is. We'll come back to that. Then it's how do we get that race off. There's what's left of the seal. See our wear there all shiny. That is grody as all get out. We're going to kill a rag on cleaning these up. See some bearing pieces way in there. Uh, that's where the seal is supposed to go. I don't know how that these cut that out. This thing has probably been gone for a long time. It just took a while to notice it. Ugh. Yeah, it's bad. Well, let's compare. Okay, this one obviously has been good all its life. There, there's... Oh man, this thing has been out forever now. I don't know... How much is replaceable here? Where that seal wearing goes? But you can see the... I mean, there's been that much. We don't even have this drop-off lip. There's been that much worn off. You really gotta seal these things or we'll be having them in the poop. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong end. Who am I kidding? That's why there's a difference. Jeez. Okay, so now I got all matching studs facing down. This one might have... It's like a... Ooh. So we've worn... See this thinner spot? We've worn that off at this one. In fact, we probably cracked it off. Because there's all sorts of little... Like, chunks missing here. And then there's that, which I guess we still have, but this is gone. And the seal would ride back in here. Oh boy, we got our work cut out for us. No, no I don't know what seems removable here. The funny thing is this one, has less grease than the one that the bearing went out of.
Well, let's see, that groove here is to give you a spot to put a punch, knock your races out. I could do that outside, no problem. Of course, it'll be dumb getting the good side done. I mean, it's got to get progress. Um, yeah, I don't have a good idea. That's, that's the best idea I got, Brad. <laughs> Destroy the bearing piece by piece and we have all new things. <sighs> Hammer time. Okay. I look in the freezers for Jeff Raymond. We have tons of eggs. No sun kissed. No seven up. Find me a handy dandy skinny red punch. Thank you, craftsman. The funny thing is, they say these are for alignment purposes only, and we directly drive on the end. Total misuse. <clears throat> Typically, I'd take this in on the vise, but I'm having too much fun outside on the concrete. Probably should, well that's protected. I should get a block of wood for that. Save our poor cast iron. Let's see, how are things going on the rest of the farm? Uh, we need rain. I wouldn't call it a drop by any means, but since we've had so much rain, might as well keep that going. We had five tenths a few days ago. I liked it, would have liked to have gotten an inch, maybe we'll get an inch again, but after tomorrow, the next week, we'll have at least five days with absolutely no chance of rain. And I could be caught up on hay, and then we won't know what to do with ourselves because we'll be done with hay. First cutting. And a small bit of second cutting. Because so we'll be going to a location where there's, I think there's going to be three fields within a quarter, half mile of each other. There's one race out. Hmm, greasy mess. Uh, more scrap iron. Some very expensive scrap iron that we're not going to get squat for. Flip it down in there. Punch it out. So Brad, if you don't have any research on skid steers, what would you want for a skid steer? Um... Uh, very good thing about the older cases. Like an 1845C? Something like that. Like the one Iowa Dairy Boys has that had the the fan just go out of it? I don't know, after that video... It's then, pretty, yeah. Uh... After seeing how the fan mounts, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Yeah, and how do you feel about it being a 7 blade versus a 6 or an 8 blade? This is supposed to have a 7 blade. Well, we can only get a 5 for it. This needs the extra cooling of the yeah. 7 blade. Because you got all the transmission oil running up there through a cooler. Obviously, the new Han would be spectacular. But I want like an L785. Something that should lift about a ton, and I think those might have had a chance of coming with the Ford 3 cylinder. That's good. Yeah. But it's, it's a bigger and obviously older, so it could be hard to find one in good shape. Yeah. I mean, find one coming off a farm. Lots of dairy farms had them. Yeah, those would be same poopy situation. So to find a good low low hour one it could be difficult. Are you actually getting that thing to move? Mm -hmm. well, that's good. I say at some point we could just bearing pull it. You're getting it out far enough. Okay, this one's apart. We'll find a rag. Clean that out. Nasty rag, nasty rag. Rag box. Jeans. Man, we've worn out a lot of jeans this past year, I guess. Socks. That's a good finish up. That's clean. Of course, that'll leave lint. That's not a rag. A cleaner, one of these. And a dirty one to get us started. Uh, 
Let's see, the, so we haven't narrowed down the 1086's hydraulic pump problem. We're deciding what to do there. Talked to the dealer today when I got the bearings. They suggested it might be the flow control valve, or what, it's the thing that determines what gets priority. And three point has first priority over the, the, uh, the valves out the back. So possibly it could be stuck directing towards the three point. And that's, I think, taken off the top link cover. So that's an easy go in and check. And if it's shooting out oil, or the three point is shooting out oil, instead of just, you know, the slow leak down when you shut it off, but shooting out oil when it's running, now that could be a problem. So they said to test to see if it's the three point issue. You don't have to take anything apart, just put the three point down and then try to use the valves for something. Because theoretically there should be no demand for three point lift if it's all the way down. You want that seal off too? Yeah, we got new seals. And then we're going to dirty up a rag, cleaning that up. Now, all this brown area is beyond the seal. Here's, here's your race. The seal rides in here. Oh. It's weird comparing, because this one's obviously shorter since we've had a bunch of material worn off. But I think that's the race? No. Seal rubs right here. Race is still in there. Ugh. Hope we don't have to buy a hub. I hope we don't. So I wonder what it's like in four-wheel drives when bearings go out, but those are in, like, continuous oil bath. Which, or I'd be okay getting uh, something with a front-wheel assist with a loader. That's most helpful in the winter when feeding hay, because we're going uphill on a slippery, snow-covered, wet, poopy surface to the hay feeders. Not really mud, it's just through the manure in the snow and ice and you got all the weight out front without putting tons of weight on the back. Oh yeah, clean that up. Shine that shaft, Brad. Trying to. Not bad. Now I'm all dirty. Guess that looks pretty decent shape. Yeah, I'd hope so. That's where the seal was. Yeah, but behind it, oh, I'll just clean if the, if I might have to scrape that off. Oh. Let's see now we'll get last detail with our sock. Okay, so you guys wanna know what the worst thing in the world is? putting this race in place because it's so recessed and you're trying to get a hammer to tap that edge not to say it's nerve-wracking but it's less than enjoyable so I got the race in for the large inside bearing and then the small outside bearing isn't so badly recessed wipe some dirt away Brad's greasing the bearings. I'm glad he likes that. That is extremely dirty greasy. Not that I don't like getting dirty greasy, but I will. I don't. I try my best. If you guys actually compared Brad and I all the time, I would be the cleaner one. I'm all about preserving cleanliness and not washing up. I mean, I do, I, I'm not one of those kids that would never get a shower or anything. Oh, jeez. This is going to be another one of those. How did they do this? Really, how and why? I kind of get a hammer on there. But pretty soon this one's going to be flush. How am I going to be able to get it in? I wonder if we have any pieces of pipe that are this size. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna find a piece of pipe. <sighs> yeah, um, wheel bearings has been the name of the game on repairs the last year, it seems like. But this is shaping up to be the worst set. That's all beat. Still need to take that in there, another half inch or so, with what? Okay, see if I can't find some handy dandy pieces of pipe. And we'll be back. We can see how dirty, greasy Brad is, all that grease. So let's see, what do we like to use for grease? This is the Vaveline Ford Lincoln Mercury. Keyword Ford. Mercury is no longer in existence. They closed that down, and we have our luxury brand. So it's luxury grease. Molly Fortified Multi-Purpose. Disc brake, wheels, steering linkage, chassis, everything. Universal joints. But it is a very real petroleum grease, and the oil doesn't separate out. So, not that homogenization is a thing, but it, it doesn't separate. Which is usually a good sign it'll be decent grease. It's not going to get hard on us. i got a lovely piece of pipe. And it about fits in the race. It's not quite big enough to rest on the edge. And we only have a quarter inch to go, so I did make some progress with this thing. Tap in a circle, sounds like we're using a post driver. Makes the chicken mad. Flat on Brad's ears. Flat on my ears, that almost sounds like we hit bottom. Ooh, not quite. Still a little bit of, little bit of gap. But we're starting to drive this race down into the, into the hub. Sounds like we're, sounds like we're there. Okay. Flip this back over. the edge and like two taps okay this is coming up on number three I, I lied there we go that was like ten maybe and the great part about t-shirt rags hey look the insides clean and I won't be like that for the next guy Okay, got that all cleaned out, ready to go. Brad has some bearings greased for us, that's fantastic. Okay, the seal is ready to go on. What? Sorry, gonna have to push it on or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Um, this might be enough. I mean, the seal, we aren't worried about grease getting out. That's not the problem. It's yeah. stuff coming in. And something's a little bit of an oval here. Come on. Some gentle tapping. Sort of. What do you want, chicken? <sighs> okay, yeah, the top's on well, but not the bottom. Straighten it up. Never use a punch backwards. Do anything or just make it worse. It's okay. a good sign. Of 
course that went on easy. Guess it helps when it goes on square. Cause I had it really crooked before apparently. That's back far enough. Yeah. Because it doesn't have to go to the back here, yeah. I don't think. That's pretty good. Okay. It a little bit. Oh, yeah, I had to drive on it hard because I had it really crooked to start out with. Okay, you can slide your big, big guy on there. <laughs> yep. Two conical surfaces. Come on, why don't you just go on nicely? Ah, uh, that could use some help. No. I should grease that a little bit. Like this? Yeah, but... Mm, I mean, probably got grease on it. Um, da dum da dum da dum no, That's full of grease. I'm gonna be, I guess we could just tighten it on. Oh, I don't know. Or do we try to tap it on farther? Lightly tap. Okay. Can you use an old brace? Uh, I am you if there's anything left of the old bearing to sit up against it. Is that a fresh bearing? Yeah, it's a good bearing. Okay, let's not put on an old greasy rag. I'm sure you've all seen wheel bearings go on. Nothing fancy and new here. 